Two ways to go if you're committing to it, leave all your stuff on there, merge it, mix it down, render it, but then you can't change it because then it's all baked in. If you don't want it baked in, you want the ability to change it afterwards, take all that off, merge, export, render out the dry signal, put it back on the track, add your plugins back on. Uh, so Kev says, with my ongoing addiction to creating huge drum stakes, drum stakes, that's a different thing. Drumscapes. Jade and I were talking and she mentioned uh, about merging the individual tracks. I know this will save any FX on there, but wondered, will it also save the EQ? Maybe a daft question, but thought I would check before I started making a mess of things. Yes, yes, and yes. So if you're not familiar with what we're talking about here, uh, when you are actually merging down tracks, what it does is it takes the audio of one, two, or more tracks and merges them together. At the same time, it will actually merge the effects that are on those tracks. So if, for instance, I had these two vocal takes here, so we've got one vocal take on, on one track, we'll just uh, we'll solo these, so we've got one vo vocal take there, one vocal take there, we could merge these two together onto one track. So I'm assuming with your drums, you might have a couple of different drum sounds on two different tracks and you want to merge them. Everything that you actually add here in the plugins and EQ section gets merged as well. So if you, if you think about, it's like freezing a track or like um, exporting a track, rendering a track, um, there's other words for it, but merging is what GarageBand calls it. So for instance, if I wanted to, uh, now these vocals are pretty bad, so um, please please bear with me, but if I want to merge the original track here with the vocals, the these uh, rough vocals that I've been doing here, uh, we'll just play this and make sure we've got the audio coming through. We will rise together, we will rise together. So yeah, if we're, if we're merging these tracks, you'll hear that on this one, it's already got, uh, it's got a little bit of overdrive and echo and compression and reverb on there. If we did EQ this, so let's say we wanted to really take off the low end of the, the vocals there, uh, once we actually merge this, it will merge in those settings. So it's important to keep in mind because when you merge it, it will put all of these settings on that. The other way to do it, uh, so let's just show what we do. So if we say grab this track and we tap it and we go merge, uh, we've already got all those effects on there. We're going to merge it. Uh, yet we'll just merge that one track, but it would be the same if we merged multiple tracks. Or just to show you how it works, let's merge multiple tracks. We merge them together. It's going to render out both of these tracks onto one separate stereo track. And that separate stereo track won't have any effects, any EQ, anything on there. So here it is. This is what it's put together. And if we come here, this will actually have... We will rise together... So you can hear it's still got that delay and that reverb and that EQ cut that we did there, but when we come in here, that's all been baked in. So now it doesn't have it here. So if we went in and we re-added a bunch more of this, you'd kind of be double processing with your EQ, with your reverb, with your delay. So the other way that folks often do with this, if we just exit out of there, uh, it, will, it always creates a copy of this stuff when you do merging, which is a handy thing because it means you don't break anything if you do the wrong thing. So the other way to do it would be before you merge, come in here, turn everything off. So turn off all of your different effects by tapping the blue button, turn off your EQ, merge it as a dry audio file, and then make a duplicate copy. So what, what I would do is I'd make a duplicate copy of this with just the settings. So all the settings I want, I'd come back to here, I'd turn all of these off, and then I'd merge the dry sound, put that onto this track, and then I can add back in all of the same stuff that I had. That just means that if you want to tweak it afterwards, you're not baking in all of those settings. Does that make sense? So yeah, if you're merging, two ways to go. If you're committing to it, leave all your stuff on there, merge it, mix it down, render it, but then you can't change it because then it's all baked in. If you don't want it baked in, you want the ability to change it afterwards, take all that off, merge, export, render out the dry signal, put it back on the track, add your plugins back on.